All right, man, torture time. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. Listen, man. So, uh, Joe Buttons has spoken on Cardi B and her boyfriend, husband, slash, husband, slash, breakup to makeup and whatever. And I think this take from him is very interesting um, because. The dynamic between women and men, to me, is very interesting nowadays. And this is a case of the uh, same situation. So look, before we get into that, let me get my spill. This is Torture Talk. If you like the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, let me work the description below. All the beautiful, sexy ladies, put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch, but I do have content, and that's absolutely free, but if you want to leave a donation, links on the screen, cash at PayPal in the description. Let me know where you're from. I went from 13, call me the hidden gem, man. Always forget that. You know, never forget it. They call me the hidden gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 11,000 subscribers for a million by Monday. Thank you very much. So look, man, we're going to get into this clip. No more talking, man. I know sometimes we draw. I got to do my spill. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? People be asking for it. You know what I'm saying? So. Okay, this comes courtesy of Never Give Up. Make sure y'all go subscribe to his channel. He makes some good videos. He does some good work over there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, I sound like I'm on uh, The Quiet Storm, WDLS. You know, look, but I ain't trying to get into that. But, look, man, let's get to the video. Let's go. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you guys and the audience out there that there are levels mm -hmm. cardi is saying and she smoked the point yo you going you in you going to these clubs these strip clubs you getting drunk you paying the 2000 to 2500 and bitches is fucking i'm not mad at them we in a we in a recession the economy is bad of course them bitches is going to fuck doing what they supposed to do I think Offset is and should be above that level of cheating. And I'm telling y'all that there are different communities of women out there specifically tailored to fucking this type of man. Oh, that's true. That okay, so... Um... That's kind of a mute point, though, to be honest with you, because... We, I mean, I mean, if you you got to be kind of naive to know that there's not high level uh, sex workers or high level uh, escort women. I mean, I understand where Joe is coming from, but that's kind of like, I mean, you kind of like got to not really know nothing to not know that. <laughs> like, like, come on now, there's 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 definitely levels, and I mean, I don't know, maybe he's talking in in generalities for people who don't really know nothing or never never been outside. But, I mean, I don't know. I guess that's, I mean, that point doesn't mean anything. Like, what he's saying, like, there are different levels of sex workers. Like, okay, yeah, we know that. There's, there's high-class uh, escorts. Everybody knows that. Now, I don't know if these girls is high-class escorts or whatever, but I don't know. Maybe for some men, and I'm going to speak to this uh, in a little bit, but maybe for some men, maybe they just get tired of uh certain things but but i'll explain in a little bit so let's go oh i know your girl i know the relationship you in i know how to hold it down you're just gonna have to start paying up you gotta pay up mm -hmm. but there are levels to this and i i'm on the side of at cardi's level yeah it feel a lot better for you to come home and tell me that you slipped up in a knee along not knee along of course of but course. in a knee along versus a Krishan rock you I'm, playing with a, a bitch from the Bronx. I'm not disagreeing. Ah, uh, see, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. See, his his whole his whole point just got just got deleted by himself. Like, I don't agree with because of what a woman, the class of the woman, I guess, or what she looks like. So you basically saying if he pays for a a, a high class woman, it's actually better than him. Uh, it's actually better. Than him having sex with a low class woman. I think if you're in a relationship with a woman and you cheat on her, 
it doesn't matter if it's high class or low class. I mean, I don't know if you're trying to make the point that it's actually better for the man if he cheats on his woman to uh, sleep with someone that's that's much more worth it. But the whole point of that is you don't supposed to do it at all, Joe. <laughs> you don't supposed to do it at all. You know what I'm saying? So I guess you're saying after the point that you pa- the point that you passed of you not supposed to do it, you maybe you better make a great choice, and that great choice better be something that's actually really good. Because if it's bad, then you just did it for nothing. It's like no, you don't supposed to do it at all, whether it's good or bad, the, the best woman or the worst woman. You don't supposed to do it at all. But I guess he's saying if you did do it, it should be with someone that's worth it. But it's never worth it if you're going to lose everything. That's the point. <laughs> That's what it's called temptation. You're supposed to resist it. <laughs> to what I'm saying. Also, oh, wait, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Also, Cardi almost caught a case behind you fucking the chicks in, in the strip club. The strip club. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. Y'all got to stop this, Cardi. <clears throat> Excuse me. Almost caught a case. She ain't almost catching no case, bro. She ain't catching no case. You know what I'm saying? She ain't catching no case. And if she did, that's on her, bro. Let's be clear here. I don't care if you try. And it's like, you know what's crazy that I notice That whenever a woman, and ladies, I know y'all might disagree with this, but hey, jump in the comment and we could discuss it. Whenever a woman does something, right, everybody always find a reason why or find an out for the woman. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know the reason why she went crazy is because of you. Oh, you know. And then they always try to tie it back to women are all emotional. You got to understand they're emotional creatures. But then they try to tell men that we are emotional as well. And it's like what, what cracks me up was he's saying, well, you she almost caught a case because of you. You know what I'm saying? But if she but if Cardi did something and he did something, they will totally blame it on him. It's the whole thing with, with women, right? When they be like, uh, <laughs> when they be saying stuff like, whenever you tell your girlfriend, um, yeah, uh, like let's say for instance, somebody say, uh, your boyfriend cheated on you, right? And you be like, the woman be like, and you're like, oh, that's messed up. He cheated on you, girl. That's crazy. That's messed up. But if the man goes and says, <clears throat> she cheated on him, the first thing they'll say is, well, what did you do? Why did she cheat on you? What did you do? And it's not like, okay, wait a minute. She couldn't have had did something that, uh, you know what I'm saying? But it's so crazy how that whole dynamic is. If a man, if a man does something or if a man says that he was cheated on, they won't blame the woman. They'll blame the man. But if a man, if, if the woman was cheated on by the man, they'll basically blame him. So basically the man gets blamed for everything. <laughs> now I know y'all might disagree with that, but. It is what it is. And I got some more theories about that, too. But let's go. Mm-hmm. She lost multi-million dollar deals, was facing however many years in court. That was a big situation. But at some point, you got to get to the why of the cheat. And I think that matters. Mm-hmm. And apparently, Cardi does, too, because she is accusing him of being intimidated in the household. She's accusing him of being insecure. It's deeper than oh, well, this shit that we talking about. She's saying, yo, I'm up. I've leveled up. I'm all the way up. I'm not the same girl, and you don't know how to be with me. I can see that. So- Nigga, sh- this is great. Yo, <clears throat> first of all, let me explain something to y'all, right? And I know a lot of y'all might disagree, but a lot of y'all might agree. I mean, we this is what we're here for. This is what we here for. This is a great conversation, actually. It should never be Never be your woman tell you. I don't know if she actually said this or he just paraphrased it. I don't know. But it should never be your woman tell you that you need to level up on my level. It don't work like that. It don't. The man is in charge 100%. <clears throat> oh, shocker. I know y'all might not like to hear that. <clears throat> but guess what? This is what I want y'all to understand. If someone comes in the house with a gun, you expect me to take a bullet for you. If I'm putting my life on the line for you, you best to believe, you best to believe I'm in charge of the house. So if she talking about something, she leveled up and I'm not the girl. She, she, this, she, she's moving like she is single or independent in a marriage. It don't work like that. It don't work like that. You level up together. You don't, you don't tell your man 
well, I don't know if she said this, but you don't tell your man, I leveled up. You need to get on my level. No, no. You know what I'm saying? That's not how this works. And again, the man should always be in charge of the house. A hundred percent. Because if somebody come through that door with a gun, what do you think I'm going to do? You think I'm going to send you down there? You think I'm going to put you in front of that? No, nah, you ain't going to jump in front of a bullet. But me as the man, I'm putting my life on the line. So you goddamn right, I'm going to be in charge of the house. If I'm putting my life on the line, that's what it is. And I ain't saying I'm going to be out there and, and treating you like, like a slave or a robot or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that I'm in charge of the house. It ain't no leveling up over top of me. That's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case, then they shouldn't be, have been married. She should have just lived single or she should have been over there and they should have just been in a relationship she have her own crib he have his own crib that's it but they but to me it sounds like joe and them about to justify it well let's see what they said oh, yeah. you continue to fuck the low level bitches because it makes you feel better coming mm -hmm. in the house so let me ask you and i think that the stuff y'all are saying voids like accountability on that front he likes fucking different chicks mm -hmm. greed or whatever mm -hmm. You don't think that a sane person looks at that with with Cardi and the wealth that she's accumulated, the family he's built, he keep putting kids in her. So, mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. you don't think that a sane person looks at that and says, okay, time to tame some of that? Nah. Okay, let me explain something to y'all. And this is another thing y'all might disagree with me with, but it, so there's an old saying, right? And I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm kind of I'm kind of just gonna say the old saying. I'm not gonna say that I agree with it, but I'm gonna say, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife, right? Here's the thing: karma is comes in all types of forms, all types of different shapes and sizes. It just comes for you. Sometimes it comes and it comes in different ways that you don't even understand, right? Cardi B used to be it in that life. She used to be in that life. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not saying that uh, that uh, it, it's something wrong with that life. I'm just saying she used to be in that life. I guess this is why she kind of understands a little more about it, but she used to be in that life. Another thing, too, there's things that Cardi did with, with uh, her husband on camera and put it online that's inappropriate for people to see. It's private but she put it out there. They put it out there. Again, you do dirt, you get dirt. The behaviors you display will come back and haunt you. If you talk about nothing but killing and uh, uh, whatever, you talk about anything, you got to understand. Excuse me, my cousin had walked in the door. <laughs> um, I was saying you do dirt, you get dirt, right? And there's certain things that you got to understand. If you live by that that type of lifestyle and these things happen, you're going to you're going to uh, uh, how would I say this? You're going to cause a toxic environment. So if you talk about nothing but killing and guns and shooting and bitches and cars and hoes and money, you're going to develop that type of environment around you. And I know people try to act like like. There could be some nicer, nicer way around it. You can't. There's no nicer way around this. If you talk about nothing but good things, nine times out of ten, you're going to come into some good things and things are going to happen to you. If you chill with billionaires, nine times out of ten, you're going to become either a millionaire or a billionaire. It's going to happen for you. If you chill with killers, nine times out of ten, you're going to be a killer. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it goes. There's no... There is another saying, birds of a fella flock together. So if you are a whore or a hoe or a nigga who goes and does all these things and y'all and you hang with people who do that all the time, you can't tell me this. You can't tell me that 99% of them now, there may be an exception to the rule, but that's an exception to the rule. That's it. It's not a, a, a thing where um, it's actually... Uh, how would I say this is actually general an exception to the rule is an exception to the rule. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be those, but it's not a, it's not a whole, a whole thing. You know what I'm saying? I know the word, but I just can't think of it right now. But anyway, 
So what he's saying, what they're saying here is about their relationship. Their relationship is built off of toxicity. And this is the reason why they do. Now, I'm not blaming her or blaming him. I'm just saying that a culmination of these things happened. Now, he probably was doing this before he married her. And maybe he married her for clout. Maybe he married her because she was, uh, you know, popular. Maybe she married, maybe she wanted to marry him because they were popular and they were both musicians and they making money and they in the same situation. Maybe that's it. But the foundation was never laid. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times men, they take their frustrations out in different ways. She might, he might take his frustrations out on having sex with other women. That doesn't make it right. I'm just saying what it is. And she might take her frustrations out by doing other things. You know what I'm saying? By saying certain things. But the the from what I get from Cardi is she's very she's very uh real about certain things, but also that can come off as that can come off as sometimes um uh how would I say this? Disrespectful to some people. And maybe he got to the point where he love her, he knows she ain't going nowhere, and he knows she's true to him, but at the same time. He probably just he probably just a damaged nigga. He can't keep his dick in his pants. You know what I'm saying? So let's keep it going. Let's go. I, I can I, tell you why he I, I have built I built a life. I got the girl I want. He talks about this girl like this is the woman of my dreams. I put all the kids in her. Actually, actually, we know that this is the woman of his dreams. And this is why I'm attacking the bullshit that y'all are saying. Yo. Because he see value in her being the BM. He said it. Of course. Damn. Stop. Of course. Now, if if you're able to see that value, then something is sick that you don't see the value in her as the wife. No, in the it's first no, no, no. But wait a minute, Joe. Just because somebody says something doesn't mean it's true. And I know you know that. You're much smarter than that. But I think you just said that so uh, so so casually. Like, oh well, he said that this is the woman of his dreams. You gotta. But see, the thing is, you have to understand why he said that. Where he come from. Maybe she cute. It could be like niggas say niggas always say this is the woman of my dreams when we when a girl looks good or when they cute. Maybe he like New York bitches. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? But it could be something small and stupid and he's saying that. Not to disrespect him saying that, but I'm just saying, like sometimes, Joe, come on now. You be reaching a little bit here. Let's go. No, no, what are we talking about? Joe, you cheated on girls before. Stop. Respond to my second point, which was if you see all this value in her as a BM, mm-hmm. then why don't you see it as a wife? You do. You could. That's, when you're cheating. That's an amazing point. That's an amazing point. That's an amazing point for him. To, that, that's a great, actually a great argument that he brought up for them. If you see all of this as, uh, as an amazing baby mother, why don't you see all this as a wife? I can answer that. Even though let's just say this some men take total advantage of certain things they take full advantage of certain things you know what i'm saying some men some men know that their their uh baby mothers or whoever ain't gonna ever go nowhere and another reason why is because the reason why she ain't leaving him or why she i don't know if they actually separated but why she constantly kept going back to him because she's damaged goods as well as well and she knows that she came from that life and it's kind of weird to say this, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like she kind of feels, I feel like, I feel like, like Cardi's kind of like, how would I say this? I feel like sometimes I feel like Cardi's kind of like, she regretting everything she did back in the day. And it's kind of like, it's not as, it's not a big of a deal to her because she don't really care for it because she probably been through a lot of this before, but she probably really do love him. And she probably feel like, well, it's just some pussy. I don't care. And men are going to be men because there are some women out there like that. They they literally they literally will let their man fuck any other woman. They don't care because they look at it like as long as he coming home to me tonight, I'm cool with it. Then this is not the behavior that. when you see the value. That's of not true. Right. This it is could, also, not, this it is could not also the be one more thing that we true, overlooking bro. here. We've been through this quite a few times. I don't think you're going nowhere. That's exactly what I'm about. That's to say. it. Yeah. You're not going to leave. He said that. No, he That's said what the, he said that. In his I tweet. won you my BM. That's what it says. Yo, like, stop nigga, talking this idealistic this, shit. Niggas be you cheating. You coming back? And my niggas called cheating because you don't think you're gonna on, get on. caught. 
He's niggas right. ain't. But see, but see, uh, I don't know if that's ish or ice. I think that's ish. But see, here's the difference, ish, that you gotta understand, right? You 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 giving a general statement. Yeah, we all know niggas cheat, but Joe is asking the question of why. You know what I'm saying? And that's another thing that niggas gotta understand. The question has to be what we focus on in in the question. You know what I'm saying? So it has to be, well, why is this person doing this? Because most of us just go to the we just jump to the conclusion. We want to see the end of the movie. We don't want to read the whole book. We want to read the cover, then read the 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 last part. Well, who died in the movie? What happened? That's all we care about. Joe is more focused on, well, what's in the book and how did it get to this point? And if you are uh if you are uh with this person that you say is your dream person and you really truly mean that, then why you keep on doing this to him? I would respond to that as even if it's your dream person, natural orders sometimes happen to people and it's hard to contain that. Now, again, I know a lot of y'all might disagree with this, but it's, but this is how I feel. Men are very, just like women are emotional creatures. Men are very sexual beings because a lot of y'all might not understand this about men because y'all women and y'all don't understand this about men. But we have this thing in us where we have to feed. And some of us can control it better than others. Some of us can't. That's why when you see this, right, this whole thing where people always say a sex addict, right? The sex addict usually is the man, right? Now, I'm not saying women can't be nymphos or whatever, but most of the time when you see people in therapy and sex, now y'all laugh about it, you know what I'm saying? But it's an urge that men can't control just like women can't control their emotions. I wish people understand that. Now, some men can control it better than others and some women can control their emotions better than others, right? Because you know the first thing men do, and I'm giving y'all some game. I'm giving all y'all some game. The first thing that men do when they see women walk by is look at their ass. I don't care what man, you know what I'm saying? If you don't really look at her ass, either one, you probably don't like women, or two, you can control yourself and you can contain it. But I can almost guarantee you, they think about it. That's the thing. Doesn't mean that we're, we're perverted doesn't mean it's just the natural order of men that's what happens women <clears throat> excuse me are the same when it comes to their emotions some women can control their emotions much better than other women you know what i'm saying and then guess what you go to the doctor or whatever or the see a psycho or whatever and it's like oh i just went crazy the first thing men say about women is what oh he's she's crazy because she's emotional so me making this point i understand exactly what joe's saying but i think it was ish ish is the type of guy um in this conversation he likes to jump to the jump to the end of the story he don't want to understand or he just like oh well, i know he knows he gives a he, he he like he reminds me of one of my friends right they don't even hear the whole thing but they just give a synopsis of it and don't even know exactly what they're talking about you know what i'm saying that's how I feel about about uh, Ish sometimes. I feel like he just he just says like, "Well, all men cheat. We know." Like, and Joe's asking why. So, like, like Cardi, like Cardi said on her live, "Yo, you lucky that I'm a thorough yeah. bitch." No, she held that yeah. down for sure. Everything you've ever done, I've only held it down. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. mad of your ops have tried to reach out to me. Yep. Mm -hmm. Probably some of you in the homeboys. That mm -hmm. same game you playing, because clearly he's hurt and sending those texts behind mm -hmm. the, yeah. behind the yeah, scenes. Exactly. And looks uh, pathetic. I'm about to fuck your ops. I'm about mm -hmm. to spill you. She this can play is... it better. If she wants. Okay, so, all right. So let's, this is the thing, and this is why a lot of y'all, this is the reason why a lot of y'all should never get married. And I'm explaining it why, right? What Joe and them is saying is actually wrong. They're, they're, they're just repeating. Not, 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 you know what? I take that back. They're just repeating what she said. They're not actually giving their take on it. Maybe Melissa said something in there, said something was pathetic or whatever. But look, this is the thing that y'all have to understand. Y'all have to understand this very clearly, very clearly, right? The vows say for better or worse, sickness and health, rich or for poor, better, you know, in that whatever order. When you take a vow, you have to understand, even if you commit 
infidelity against your wife, she's supposed to accept it. And the same for you when it comes to her. You're supposed to accept it. And I know that sounds crazy, but that's a part of the vows, right? Because once you give yourself to a person, and I know people saying, well, if you gave yourself to this person, how can you give yourself to someone else? It's covered already. It's covered in the, for better or worse. The worst would be what? This situation right here. Now, I'm not advocating for cheating or going out and cheating on your wife. I'm not. I'm just saying some people fall on hard times in relationships. Some people get tired. Some people get bored. Some people do all these things in a relationship and they can't take it no more. Some people get, I, right, I'll put it to you like this. And this, and this is, this is a great point, right? So let's say, let's say you was in an accident, a guy, right? And I'm going to give it to the woman too. Let's say the guy was in an accident and, um, he was paralyzed from from the waist down and he couldn't he couldn't get it up nothing what do you expect your wife to do for it, it, let's say y'all y'all was married y'all been married for five years and you you definitely ain't separated got into a horrible accident and now you're you're paralyzed from the waist down you can't please your wife what do you expect your wife to do answer in the answer in the comments. What do y'all expect your wife to do? Right? Now flipping on the other side. The same thing happened with a woman. You know what I'm saying? And she can't, you know, I don't know, she can't have sex. You know what I'm saying? What do you expect your husband to do? Now again, you so you're condoning that behavior. It doesn't change the fact that they're still going to be with somebody else. It's the same thing. Maybe you just condoned it, but it's still the same. You know what I'm saying? They're still physically sleeping with someone else. So the point that they're making here, well, not making a point, but they're basically saying what she's saying. I kind of feel like I get it. But at the same time, it's for better or worse. That's just how it goes. That's how it goes. She oh, goes. She the had women are going to play it better. This nigga's nuts. No, no. We not not him specifically, nuts. but. The nigga on the other side that's moving like this and, oh, yeah. oh my God, I'm going to do whatever yeah. I want and I like pussy yeah. and you're never going to leave. But the second yeah. you do it, oh, I'm crushed. Oh, my God. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 women. All right. This, he, he, scouts, he shouts out women plays it better, right? There's really no playing nothing better. It's either it's either one of y'all is doing something and the other is doing something. Like all of this playing it better leads to more chaos. So if you play something better than someone, that means that it's going to lead to a much more uh, detrimental thing happening. That's what you got to understand. I think that they, they're, the, the point that you're trying to make is women are better cheaters than men. You know what I'm saying? But if I know you're cheating, it doesn't matter if you're better at it. If I know you're doing it, the only thing is for men, and this is not, this has nothing to do with women being better cheaters. The reason why people say that is because men get their egos crushed when their woman sleeps with another man. That's why it has nothing to do with someone actually physically doing something better or the game is better. Obviously women it's, it's catered towards more women having more advantage, especially with social media. Doesn't mean that it's better. It's just catered that way. So let's say for, for argument's sake, Cardi B, she probably gets a lot of guys in her inbox, not now, but when she was, she gets a lot of guys in her inbox because women are social media magnets and most of them are social butterflies. Not to say they sleep with multiple men. I'm just saying this is what happens now for him. He's popular, but it's very difficult for a man to get as many women as uh, him. You know what I'm saying? very difficult for for uh for women to get uh men you know what i'm saying i mean for for men to get women it's very difficult so look we're gonna get into the rest of this and we're gonna finish it out let's go oh uh, is that not damn near every That's man every out here in the game no uh, no no those are boys because That's at some point the man says i don't want to lose my fucking wife now if y'all listen to the podcast now i understand that part too but 
again, if you take your vows, and I know this, I know y'all out of y'all going to disagree with this. If you take your vows, you have to understand. You take your vows. You have to understand. It's for better or worse. Now, we don't know the situation with Cardi. Now, I did hear that she said that she was messing with his brother before he died or something like that. I don't know. Maybe she said that. But see, I don't know if, if, if that's true. I read it somewhere, but I don't know if it's true. So I can't say that Joe and them should have highlighted that because I don't know if it's true or not. But, um, yeah. So let's just, let's just listen in. Let's see what Never Gotta Say, and then we're going to finish this out. Let's go. Do y'all know when certain topics come up, like, let's say, Jay-Z, Joe will start to get in what they call on the podcast his whole Avengers bag, like the Avengers, but his whole. So the whole Avengers bag, meaning he's defending Jay-Z. Today, I felt like Joe got into his Cardi Avengers or Carvengers or Cardi B Avengers. I don't know, but he was doing a lot of taking up for Cardi B. And it just reminded me of the other day when Cardi B was on Spaces and she was cussing out Joe. She was upset with some of the criticism. And I was just thinking to myself, well, Cardi, if you listen to the podcast today, I think Joe made you proud. He's now, okay, so that's another thing that I noticed that Joe does. And he brought up a great point. Joe does that a lot. When it's somebody he like or somebody he kind of like, he takes up for them. Now, I don't know what he exactly said about, what's the name, about uh, Jay-Z and what's the name. I don't know exactly what he said. But I, I'm figuring that maybe he said something on the lines of Jay-Z. Maybe it's Jay-Z and, you know, bitch deal with it or whatever. I don't know. And I don't want to really speak on it. But I'm just saying. But a lot of men do that. Just as, just as, well, as, just as well as Joe said that there's levels of uh how would i say this he said that there's levels of of uh women there's levels of men as well and a lot of men if they if they have money status and respect joe would probably wouldn't have been saying this about him so if this was somebody like uh let's say cardi b was married to jay-z i don't think joe would have been defending cardi b as much i think she he would have been like well it's jay you know what i'm saying that's how it looked but since he seems, uh, her husband uh, uh, seems to be a little bit under her when it comes to certain things. And, and on top of that, you, uh, another thing that people got to understand is Cardi B has a masculine personality. And this is the reason why she is where she's at, because she's very dominant. Maybe she's maybe she's too much for him. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? And maybe that's the reason why he goes out and does what he does. I don't know. Maybe he's bored. Who knows? But let's finish out. Let's go. The 10 toes with Cardi B, and he was giving offset to business. Now, I wanted to know why they didn't mention when Cardi exposed those text messages, there was a particular text when offset asked, could he jerk the tool? while Cardi was on the phone with him. Now, regardless of whether or not you think that's freaky, I just feel like putting out that text was worse than everything she said. It was worse than her talking about, I'm better than you, I'm bigger than you, you can't handle this, you know, you go out and have sex with these girls to make yourself feel better because... You can't handle dealing with a bad bitch like me. I feel like exposing my private sexual bag um, is a little too much for me, all right? Even though, you know, I'm not going to act like, you know, a lot of us men haven't been there where it was just us, the baby oil, the thousand bottles of baby oil in our left or right hand, okay? All right, so let me speak on that. And then I'm actually going to end this now. Y'all go watch the rest of it on his page. Yeah, man. Um, also, here's the thing, right? And I understand what Never was saying at the end of that. 
I understand exactly who he's saying, right? But basically, he's saying like, like they never exposed. And I said that earlier. They did not. They did not say the whole thing. And it's like sometimes I feel like people just side with other people for certain reasons. Now, um, them siding with uh, Cardi on this, and she exposes this. She's saying the reason why you're doing all this is because of this and this and this and this and this. And she's basically implementing herself as if, like, you are scared of me. This is the reason why you are having sex with other women. To me, that doesn't make any sense at all. You already married. To, he's already married to you. Why would he be scared of you now? You know what I'm saying? Like, he's you're saying, and I think that that's just a coping mechanism that she's using just to justify why he's doing it. Maybe she, because some people, what they do is, they be a lawyer sometimes. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this, but a lot of times when you're in a relationship with somebody, they justify things in their head of why you're doing certain things. And I believe that that's what she's doing with him. She's giving him a, a out. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying, well, you like not saying to him to him directly, but she's just basically saying like, well, do we, and, and let's just speak on these terms. Like she's like saying to him, but not saying to him to rec directly. Well, the only reason why you cheat is because you can't handle me. So that's the reason why you cheat. Okay? And he's like, in his head, like, yeah, that is the reason why I cheat. Because you just too much for me. You my dream girl. And it's like, she giving him a reason why he does these things. You know what I'm saying? So I look at it from this. I look at it like this. And this is what people got to understand. Definitely people got to understand, right? When you're in a toxic relationship as if they're when they're in because when you put text messages out online to me you you're going beyond what your relationship should be no one should know exactly what's going on with y'all but you want sympathy from the from the from the public eye either him or her you know what i'm saying either way so i do understand uh the you know them two being together but I don't understand them to uh, putting out messages like that for the world to see. And now people got a comment like me and never and a bunch of people got a comment. So, but either way, man, that was actually a pretty good episode uh, that he aired. That was really good. Um, yeah. Make sure y'all go follow him, man. I'm out of here, man. You already know show's going to be jumbled. So I got a couple of shows dropping today and some tomorrow and then some Monday. So I'm gonna get as many out as I can. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back in the studio soon. All right, man. Love y'all. See y'all. Peace. Bye.